Okay, so <clears throat> it's late. Hold on, let me. Wait, I forgot something. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I had to get my uh, tea. It's late at night, and I am having some tea. Just play some um, Apex Legends with a friend of mine. We were doing pretty good. But then this guy was messing up, but yeah, we were doing pretty good. Um, I wasn't playing as good as I normally play, but not half bad. But anyhow, that's not what this video is about. This video is actually an Ask Her Shinoe that I got uh, today. It's another relocation question. You know, I want people to understand, for those who watch the channel that, because I have some people that, you know, watch the channel and they're not necessarily moving to the area, they're probably thinking, man, you get a lot of those relocation questions. And it's true that I do, and that gives you an idea of how fast, and I'm just one YouTuber with a very tiny channel, but that gives you an idea of how fast and how many people are moving into the area. It is a very fast growing area. So this person sent me an Ask Her Shinoe, And it's similar to others that I have gotten, except for it's talking about Thurston and Yakima County. Two counties I don't know a whole lot about. Because when you look at Thurston, that's Olympia. Yakima County's the city of Yakima is the main, hence the name of the county. It's the main city. But this person's not wanting to live in the city. They're wanting to live in the county because they are homesteaders, which is something that Noelle and I would like to do. I mean, that's, you know, you guys know. We want to do our own little little food forest and all that type of stuff. And we even know of a couple who is uh, in King County. And they have kind of like their own little homestead going on. It's pretty cool. We toured it and everything. It was it was nice. But anyway, anyway, so this person wrote and said, Hello, I have been following you for a while on YouTube. I appreciate that. My husband, uh, I, and our two little boys are thinking of relocating to Washington. Now, if I'm reading very strangely, it's because I put this on the computer so it was on my phone. I took a screenshot of it. And you remember last time when I did that, everything was like scrunched. This time I did it better, but it's kind of far and I'm getting older. My vision's not like it used to be, which is sad. I, I could, I used to have eagle vision. I could see tiny little thing. Now it's like, I can't, I got to get up on it. But anyway, um, so they said they're thinking about relocating to Washington. We visited Puyallup and Tacoma. Here is the deal. We are homesteaders. So we are looking to buy land. However, since we are interracial, we need to be cautious. We are thinking about Thurston County or Yakima County. From a racial perspective, are those areas safe, relatively speaking? By the way, I am black. My husband is white. Just for reference, I would love to hear from you moving from Tucson, Arizona to Washington post the sickness and is going to be, hold on, I gotta go to that one. Um, doo, 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 doo. Um, it's going to be big for our family. Any help or opinions you can offer would be appreciated. Sorry, because I had the other little piece clipped off, right? But I have this other little piece. Make sure you join our Discord, which is gonna be down in the description box below. Uh, in the future, what I'm going to probably do is have a video that talks about some of the counties and some of the areas around here because people have been asking me to do that for quite some time. Even when I was up in Seattle, they were wondering about some of these other cities and I just really and truly spaced it and didn't get around to it. Um, and so I think it's better for me to do it here because I have everything and I can kind of tell people about things that's better visually when you're seeing it versus driving around and showing you stuff. The point of reference is not as good, but great series of questions. And there are a lot of people going the opposite direction, leaving here and going to Arizona, right? <laughs> but you do have it where people are coming from Arizona to here. I can tell you one thing, you will not have the sunny weather that you have down in Arizona. We lived in New Mexico for a bit. And not only did we have sun constantly, but it was hot, <laughs> like hot. 
and it, it took some getting used to we finally got used to it but moving here is the complete opposite it's a lot of green and it's a lot of damp it's damp except for in the summertime but other than that it's just wet and damp um so here's the thing thurston yakima county the counties when you go into the county even in pierce county it is hit and miss when it comes to uh, people's perspective and towards race. It's going to be hit and miss anywhere, really, even in the cities. But in the counties, it's a little different. Typically, especially when we're talking about Pierce County, Thurston County, other places, um, those counties tend to be a little they're less diverse, A, mostly farm communities. And we still do have some of those, believe it or not. Um, so it's it's different. It's completely, completely different. I don't think you would have people like trying to run you out of town and nothing like that. No. But it is not going to be at all hardly diverse. Right? Will you have people that will stare at you? Probably. Absolutely. You're going to have people that will look at you like you have five heads. Um, you may have a person that may say a comment or two. I remember Noel and I went far north. We went to, I forget. Fidalgo Island, is that what it is? And we were camping. We went to a Walmart up there because we ran, we didn't have enough tent stakes. And so we went there and one of the, I don't know if he was a customer or a worker, I can't remember now, something bit me on my leg. But he basically did the Dukes of Hazard song. That's what he did when he saw us. And I just laughed at him. I just looked at him and I was just like, really? Like, what are you, five? And meanwhile, I think he was probably 40 or so. But you do have bumpkins. I mean, that it's just, you're going to have that. People are less tolerant when you go to, when you go out of the city, right? Um, that's just going to be kind of the fact of life. Now, that doesn't mean that I would not do it because typically on a homestead, you're going to have acreage, you're going to have land. Most of the time, nobody's going to bother you as long as you don't bother them type of thing. That's just kind of the same thing here. Um, there's really not major issues where, you know, there's there's reports constantly of stuff going on. It's not like that. Uh, that's not to say that you won't have people who kind of tolerate you, Right. There will be people that, I guess my my interpretation is people will tolerate you. You'll have some that have no problem. You have others that will tolerate you. You have others that definitely don't like it, but they're not going to say much. And then you have those that are uncomfortable, don't like it, and they might say something. But it in that order is what you're going to see, basically. And most people are not even going to pay attention. It's that small, tiny segment of people whether it's in Thurston County or whether it's in Yakima County, that small group of people are going to be the ones that say something. And when I say small, we're talking every, you know, you may have an issue today, but not have another one for another couple of years type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, and again, it depends where in Thurston County and where in Yakima County you're talking. I would also do some research on Yakima County. Okay. Just in terms of, of, how close you're going to be to Yakima. There's not, Yakima has had issues with some crimeage. Um, so I don't know how close you're going to be. But keep in mind that life is different. You know, here is snow country in certain areas. Certain areas get a dumping of snow. The mountains control everything. Um, some areas, nothing. You know, you get a little bit of here, of dusting and that's it. Other places, it's impassable. Like, the roads are bad. It's It really and truly depends. I don't know enough. I don't know enough about Yakima County or even Thurston County. I know that they're both south of us. Thurston County is directly south of us. And then Yakima is a little bit farther down. But could you find some good deals there? Yeah. Your better deals in terms of, of price for land is going to be better in Yakima than it is in Thurston County. But yeah, as far as would you have any sort of issue, I don't necessarily think so. 
Um, you know, there is, even here in Pierce County, you can go down to Spanaway and have issues. Parkland, you can have issues. Um, so it could happen anywhere, but as far as it being like where you don't feel safe, I don't think so. I really and truly don't think so. Anyone that's here, I have some people who are on the channel that have been on our channel for a very long time too, and they're from here. They might be able to give you a little bit better perspective, and if so, put it down in the comment section below. Um, they're wanting to have a homestead and uh, buy a land, so that's really cool, actually. I told them that I'm going to have some questions probably about homesteading because that's something we want to do. We have to do a tiny homestead, right? Like, it won't even be considered a homestead, but we've been thinking about buying land also. If we did, it would be in Pierce County. Uh, you, Pierce County is a huge county. You can find land here. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. You can find land in King County. Believe it or not, there's still vacant land, big chunks of land in King County. You're going to be paying more and taxes are going to be more. But those are also options too. The couple that I was talking about that has a homestead in King County, they're a mixed couple too. She's Indian and he's uh, black. I think he's from someplace in Africa. But they're pretty cool people and they have a homestead and they have like chickens and everything else right and they they get the community involved uh from seattle people from seattle come over and help them and different things like that so um they have a lot of different little buildings on their property so it's really really cool but um yeah i mean there's there's land available but i would say that i would go for it if you find land that's at a good price and it makes sense and it's gonna suit your needs I would say you should be you should be fine. Um, again, will you get looks? Probably, yeah, probably. And most of the time, you probably won't. You know what I mean? But you would definitely get looks here. Nobody pays attention. In Tacoma, that's all you see are mixed couples. Like nobody even pays attention at all. You know, I mean, just on our street, there are. Let's see. Well, I mean, there's a couple right across the street from us that he's he's white and she's black also. Then there's us. Then there's some other folks down the way. So in, in Tacoma, it's like nobody pays attention. Like it's not even a, it's like whatever. But once you start to leave the area a little bit, then people are like, hmm. But again, I think the number that you're looking at in terms of people that will feel uncomfortable and say something is going to be very, very tiny. So, yeah, I mean, good luck on the move. Good luck on the move. Let me tell you, that is a hell of a drive. I did it. I did it from Albuquerque, well, actually Rio Rancho. From Rio Rancho, New Mexico, all the way up to Bellevue, because we the, the apartment wasn't ready in Seattle yet. So we drove that in three days with uh, our kids. We had Zoe and Zara at the time. So I understand you were saying that you have two boys, I believe. Am I correct? Two or three? Two, two, two. Yeah, you have two little boys. I don't know the age. And Zoe at the time was... Was she five? Something like that. And Zara was two. Or maybe Zara was one and Zoe was four. I don't know. I don't know. They were young enough to where we were like worried. And so I drove the U-Haul and all the stuff that was in it. I was going to drive there myself and have Noelle and the kids fly, but she didn't want to do that. So she wanted to see the countryside because we lived in Indiana at first. That's where we met. And so when we moved to Albuquerque, my uncle and I drove from Indianapolis all the way to New Mexico. And we did that basically... We slept in the U-Haul truck. We didn't even get a hotel. We slept in the U-Haul truck for maybe an hour or so and then continued driving. So we got there in like no time, 19 hours, I believe, or whatever, whatever it was, 20 hours, whatever it is. So we got there and um, not a big deal, right? Then Noelle flew out with Zoe. She got pregnant while we were there with Zara, had Zara there. And then when we were going to move to Seattle, she wanted to, she missed out on the drive. And I was telling her how beautiful it was and how everything changed. And so when she went, um, it was kind of scary because at that time that we were coming, 
I wasn't sure how the weather was going to be. And actually, when we got into Utah, it was just snow on the ground. Other places, not so much, but in Utah, there was snow on the ground. But you will see a lot of cool stuff. It's really, really awesome. The first time when I went from Indiana to New Mexico, I saw a wolf on the side of the road, like standing right there at the edge of the interstate. It was just awesome. No other cars, which was kind of scary. Uh, and then coming from uh, New Mexico to here, there was a lot more activity, um, but it was just beautiful. So um, let's see, when are you coming? I don't think you mentioned. Uh, depending upon when you're coming, be careful because you have to get through the mountains. So you're coming up this way, you're gonna be going through the mountains, that's when it gets dicey. That's when there's a problem. So depending upon when you're coming, if you're coming this year, then yeah. Um, yeah, you don't even, I don't see where you say when. That's when it's an issue. That that right there is gonna be a little sketchy because the road and the and the rocks and the cliffs and the all of that, of course, when we were coming, there was uh, road construction and all of that and it sucked. It sucked. It was just icy. It was, it was just not fun. Um, all that should be cleared up by now, but yeah, you're going to be going through that. Uh, you're in a different location, though, too, so I don't know exactly how you're coming up. I don't know if you're coming up through California and then Oregon. I don't know. But anyhow, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think it really depends on where you are in those counties. Um, keep in mind, Pierce County also has some good, uh, land that's available, something that we probably would do, uh, in the future. We're looking at that. Uh, hope I answered your questions. If you have any more questions and if this was kind of vague, I apologize. Those are two counties that I don't know a whole lot about. Um, but I can tell you just by living here and going down south a little bit to, and I'm not talking very far. But down to Parkland and Spanaway and some of those places, you do have a little bit more intolerant people than you would just five miles up. <laughs> I mean, those places are literally about three, four miles from where I'm at. And yet those places, the, the tolerance level is not the same. Most, like I said, 90% of the time, nobody cares. Nobody pays attention. 5% of the time, people may notice, but they're not going to, and they may stare, but they're not going to say something. And then you have that 1% or 2%, maybe 3% that's going to say something. That type of thing. I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I think you should be fine. Not a big deal, especially at Homestead. The biggest thing you need to worry about are squirrels digging up your crops. <laughs> that's, I think your biggest worry probably will be wildlife, like raccoons and squirrels. And depending upon where you go, you may see some coyotes and stuff like that. There are mountain lions too. So... I don't know if they're in those counties, but we have them. When Noelle went to a school, um, she was driving down the road on one of the islands over here, driving down the road, and there were two mountain lions that were up ahead that ran across the road. So, yeah. Now, I don't know about Thurston County or Yakima County. I don't know if they're there. I do know that coyotes and wolves and stuff like that are there, obviously. But I'm not, because you see coyotes here in Tacoma, which is strange. There's even a Facebook page about coyotes. Anyway, so yeah, I would be more, your biggest issue would be your crops and wildlife messing with it than people, to be honest with you. But anyhow, hope I answered your question. Make sure you all join our Discord. It's going to be down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Good luck on your move. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.